there's no auto attack and that's usually what people mean by an action system every click of the button that you do corresponds to a weapon attack so um, that's really the biggest difference that and the, the graphics and, and things like that but color coding yeah that's very very similar so I'll let you pick she's kind of our scout so I'm just gonna let uh, let my wife here choose Roselia she's gonna pick well don't know if we're married in the games. I guess I can't call her that if we're role playing it out. So this winch that I'm traveling with is going to pick our path and decide where we're going. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, what? What did you just call me? This woman of ill repute will be guiding the party through our adventures. Is that better? Mm, Alright, well she's picking out some things right now. So We have some background folks asking, how did I ill repute her? Uh, who said I ill reputed her? Uh, we're not sure. We just made the assumption because she was a slave girl and whatnot. Mm, depends on what you do with them. It, well, then I'm a slave of ill repute. Very good ill repute. Hey. Yeah, whatever. Oh, if it's good, it's not ill. Okay. <laughs> sure, I know what it is. Oh, there's someone up here. Well, that is okay, I suppose. What do we got going on up here? Oh, the house. Oh. Oh, I got something in here. Oh, I guess I can't go in here yet. That must be later. Well, we had to come up here to kill pirates, and we did. What kind of pirates? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we can come back here later. If we're lucky, they'll have a pretty quick respawn. <coughs> Nope, not yet. I think that's your nighttime quest. Alright, so we're just going to give it a second. See if they respawn. If they do, great. If not, we'll just, we'll just move on. And actually show you some different parts. So if this is all brand new to you, there's actually quite a bit that you can do in this starting area. Uh, it's pretty nice. Oop, and here they come. Enough chit-chat. There you go. So normally when I play, I use all my, my quick keys. I do key bindings. It's just that with Age of Conan, it's a little bit different. I'm actually mousing over the buttons because the buttons I normally use for my key bindings are actually linked to your directional weapon attacks. So my 1, 2s, and 3s. And so what I do is I click on the appropriate attack that I want to use. I mean my number four I can reach over and get usually, but the rest of these another fatality. But the rest of these I just kinda click on them and then use my one, two, threes uh, to actually do my attacks. So my upper right, upper so this even it, it takes me a while to kinda get used to the combat again because um, I'm a I really love my key bindings and this doesn't really key bind up the way that I want. I mean, not that you couldn't set it up that way. Uh, it's just, I just kind of go with the vanilla Conan on the key bindings for this game. Which brings up a point uh, my wife was saying, I don't know if she's changing it, but she was saying uh, in EverQuest, she, was that a real life player killing people? Oh yeah, er, up earlier. Sorry, Crenshaw. Crenshaw asked, "Was that a real-life player killing people?" Like when we first came up. Sorry, I was a little slow to see that. Yeah, when we first came up, there was a, a player. He was already up there killing those same folks. That's why we were waiting on the respawn. I think she went back here. Yeah. So that was a real-life player. Now my wife was saying, um, in her game, her number one key 
she doesn't use and so when she was doing this it's just taking her a little extra longer to get used to having to go back to using her one two threes so oh so she said she was going to switch her key bindings to fit what she was used to doing. She switched the key bindings and then that messed her up because she had gotten used to the 1, 2, 3. So now she just switched it back to 1, 2, 3. So I tell you, you know, when you play a game for so long, you know, you, you just get so used to a, a particular way of doing things that sometimes, you know, that muscle memory kicks in. But, you know, she was able to, to adapt. And that, that's the biggest thing, it's just adapting to a new way of playing, you know, if you come over to Age of Conan. Um, the layout, basics of the game are the same, it's just the combat's a little bit different than other games I've played. Was there? Oh, there she is. I'm just trying to talk and keep up with her, and I don't, I don't multitask well. More bad tidings? I have returned, noble lady. Oh, that's right, you can read those yourself. And how we doing on experience? Bam, moving up a little bit. The quest experience seems pretty good, so I don't feel like I've had a hard time leveling up. It's been pretty spot on, and we've actually got quite a few quests that we can work on. So, yeah, this this intro island, in fact, um, shortly, not shortly, but after they released the game, the first version of their trial was you could play unlimited up to level 20. You just had to stay on the tutorial island here. Uh, but there's actually quite a bit of content you can do here so that wasn't such a bad trial and then finally they've got free to play so we've actually in the in the cast we've actually only been to a couple places we've been to I think we've been to most of the city here we've gone to the White Isles White Sands Isles but there's still like the volcano zone um, yeah it's at night time and we've kind of gone back near the entrance. So Akron ruins, underhalls. Yeah, there's caves back here we've got to do. I mean, so there's a few few instances actually, uh, still still that we can work on. Ooh. Apparently, I was targeted on that guy. So I'll take him out. I don't like archers, so we'll take him. And oh, I missed. Nope, oh, she got hurt pretty bad. All right, so we'll just rest up for a moment here. And she is stealthing up. Are we going down in, into the caves? Okay, so what we're gonna do, unfortunately, like a few games before it. Um, they do have some grinding, but just in the form of quest rewards. Um, this particular cave that we're going into, one of the quests requires us to pick up just this huge amount of snakes and scorpion poison glands. It's just, it's kind of, it borderlines ridiculous. You're just going to spend some time running these caves, but you know, hey, it's a quest. You get stuff for doing it, so we're going to head on down into it. Alright, so I'm going to try and position a little bit, so now, hopefully, I can hit both of them in my arc, but she just took one out, so... Now, with your with your default settings here in the, in the Conan, uh, you don't auto-turn to an opponent. You do have the option to, like auto target and auto turn I have auto target on which probably isn't always the best um, but I do leave turned off the auto facing so that I don't automatically turn towards my opponents and the reason why is it really cuts down on the opportunity to hit more than one target at a time if you can kind of position yourself sometimes you have to maybe back up or you know maybe kind of sidestep but if you can get your enemies to kind of line up on each other, you can actually end up hitting more than one. Or if they're kind of standing next to each other and they don't want to cooperate movement-wise, if you kind of aim between them, you can sometimes hit both with your weapons. So I usually I just turn that facing auto facing off. And so now we're gonna start hitting these snakes. Okay. 
All right. I think if this is my bleed, I'm actually going to make a little change here. Uh, and we'll put that one at the end. Now that one is like a little bit of a debuff, but I think I'd rather open with a dot. Now, did that let you pick it up too? Okay, now what's cool is some of these quest items, they actually let everybody pick up an item. So even though we're competing for like 20 snake skins and whatnot, everybody's going to get a chance to pick these up, which is very nice. because I hate having to compete for resources. That would just make it even longer if I had to get 20 and then she had to get her 20. So now we're going to come up and get scorpions. Oh. Well, that one went a lot quicker. Now, I think... Yeah... I'm just looking at my abilities here. I wonder what would happen if I did that. Just mix them up a little bit. So even though in the beginning I don't have too many skills, it never hurts to play around and maybe find a combination that you like. Just gotta remember to hit your combos over there. Now what's nice is these combos are actually quite a bit simpler from when the f game first came out. Uh, that was a big complaint a lot of folks had was you, you pretty much had to memorize combos. Like I don't think they even had the, the combo meter when I first started. So you actually had to memorize. Uh, did they? Okay, because I remember like I guess in beta yeah it was just I remember like there was a complaint that you had to memorize them so they put the meter in and then the complaint was there's too much of a combo like to finish an entire attack sequence to get through the end so you get the bonuses you'd have to hit like maybe five keys uh... Well, doesn't the game know you two okay so Crenshaw's asking doesn't the game know you two are playing together uh... it knows that we're playing together um... in, in what sense do you mean Crenshaw I mean yeah because we are grouped right now and we had to do we did set our loot options so it knows that we are grouped. In fact, there's our group right there. Did you fatality it? It's hard to see the fatalities on a spider, though. Yeah. Yeah, the, the people fatalities are obviously way, way better. I mean, when you fatality animals, you just end up with a bunch of blood on your screen, but when you do, like, thieves and humans and stuff like that, you actually see some very interesting things that you can do to them. Uh, you said 20 skins, then you, then you 20 skins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's what I was saying. It, it does let us each grab from the same bag. I mean, I've actually have played games where, like for instance, if I have to get 20 skins, I would have to get the 20 skins, and she would also have to get her own separate 20 skins. Some games are like that. The nice thing about Age of Conan is the one bag has enough. Now, there have been a couple quests that we've done where we each had to alternate, but like on this big one with 20 skins, fortunately, the bag is dropping, or 20 Venoms, the bag is dropping enough for each of us. Um, so it's kind of a hit and miss. I think with some, I think we did a couple where, fortunately, it was only a few items. Uh, we each had to get our own, but at least these bags are hold enough for the both of us. I hope that's what you're asking. Let's see. Uh, one last question about EverQuest Two. <laughs> just, I just grin. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what we're playing. It's EverQuest Two on the brain. That's cool. Let's see here. Yeah, EverQuest 2. That's okay. I do a lot of housing episodes, so I'm, I'm with you. Um, it says, uh, one last question about EverQuest 2. Can you ask Raz what the best master spell to have for your level 15 wizardry spell list? Solar Flare or the AoE spell? Oh, there's my fatality. See my blood splatter up? You're saying the, the solar flare? She says the solar flare. 